This is the easy way to understand and use the New York City subway. Now you might want to watch until the end for the most important advice on what stations to avoid in train transfers. First things first, to access and pay, all you need is anything contactless, credit card, debit card, your mobile phone, watch, or any wearable device. And of course, if contactless isn't an option, then you can top up at the booth for a metro card. Fares are at $2.90 per entry. So unlike London that has a day cap, New York doesn't, but we do have a seven day cap. After tapping 12 times or after spending $34 within a seven day period, after that becomes unlimited. Pro tip, if you live and work in New York City, you can save about $163 a year if you pay for the 30-day unlimited access using the MTA or MetroCard, which costs about $132 now for a 30-day unlimited MTA card. For safety concerns, if you're worried that your Broadway show ends at 10 p.m. or you have an early commute at 6 a.m., those times are still safe and busy, so you're okay to travel during those times. Another safety tip is if you're really worried or there aren't much people around, your best bet is to find where the conductor is in the train. And to do that, you will look for the striped banner overhead. And it's usually at the center of the platform. And the most important safety tip is never to stand by the edge of the platform because people often push people at the edge, especially when the train is coming in or as the train is passing by. So never, never stand by the edge or at least stand behind a barrier or the pillar to keep safe. With regard to apps for directions here in New York, there are so many. You can use Google Maps, MyMTA, and other apps, but I use Google Maps, which is very sufficient. I'm happy, I'm satisfied. Now with Google Maps, don't forget to switch on the transit option, which shows you the pathways of the trains so that you can visualize the direction of the trains, which will help you find the entrances for the subway stations. If you're new in the area, budget a minute or two to find the entrances of the subway because they're colored black and green, which can easily blend in the environment. And pay close attention to signages that's, that indicate downtown or uptown. Because if you enter the wrong entrance, you might end up paying twice the fare. But if it doesn't say uptown or downtown, it means it has access to trains that goes both ways. New York uses the grid system. You can picture New York as this long, tall island with a grid system with roads going up, straight up, and roads going to the side. The roads going up are what we call avenues. A, a clue that I remember is avenues, letter A, that look like um, arrows going up. So these are avenues that go straight up. The streets that cross from west to east, bear in mind that the lower the number of the street, meaning the lower you are or the most south you are of Manhattan or New York, while the higher the number goes, the 100th street, the higher you are in Manhattan. Subway trains usually travel through avenues going up, while buses travel in streets, which they call crosstown buses from west to east. Now, the most important advice of all, if you can help it, Try to avoid train transfers in these two stations, that's 42nd Times Square Station and or Grand Central, because these stations are huge, busy, and boiling hot. So you can imagine during the summer or cold weather, it's hot in those areas, it's huge, it's busy, you don't want to end up there unless you have no choice. Looks like you're all set, so for more tips and the vibe, like and subscribe. Welcome to the capital of the world.